Welcome to Empowering Vibes, the show that supports you to create an extraordinary life. My name is Hannah Wiss, and I'm your host, life coach, certified yoga teacher, and founder of Yoga Junkies, a yoga lifestyle brand for on and off the mat. In this show, I will talk with inspiring guests who share the knowledge and story about topics such as mindset, mental health, mindfulness, healing, passion, and spirituality. I will also be guiding you through meditations and teach you the tools and tactics to heal your heart, follow your intuition, connect with your true authentic self, and learn how to turn your dreams into reality. So, are you ready to shine your light? Hello, you beautiful soul. I lately felt the big urge to have a little more one-on-one podcast episodes in which it's just you and me. And I always imagine that you and me are having a coffee chat and we're talking about all the topics that we're both so passionate about. So yes, this is going to be my new format that I will sprinkle in into in between all the amazing interviews that I'm having. And I want to just share more personal stories, more tools and tactics that help me to create the life that I'm currently living and yeah, just help you to become the best version of yourself. And I had a few months ago a moment where a manifestation from a few years ago became reality and it was this amazing Yoga Junkies Festival that we created. You might know that I'm not only a life coach, but also the founder of my brand called Yoga Junkies, together with my husband, Tyler. And we created Yoga Junkies five years ago. And I remember so well that it was even before we founded the company, like we already started to have a few ideas. And I was sitting at a personal development seminar And just right before that, I had everything I ever wanted. I had a really amazing job that was fun, well paid. I had incredible colleagues. Then my back then, back then it was my boyfriend, Tyler, now my husband. He was in the Air Force for the whole beginning of our relationship. And we always had a long distance relationship. So we never thought it would be possible that we would live together. And finally, he left the Air Force for me and moved to Vienna with me. So finally, I was reunited with the love of my life. And um, my parents got divorced when I was seven years old. And they lived divorce with new partners for 15 years. So basically, My whole childhood, my family was split apart. And after those 15 years of divorce, they got back together and even married once again. So I finally had a family that was reunited, which was such a dream of mine when I was a little child, always to have Christmas back together. I had amazing friends as well that I had since I'm like five years old and true deep connections. Like my best friend is truly like a soulmate to me. So I was like living the life I always wanted to have and yet I felt so miserable and I started to hear this voice, this tiny whisper of my heart kind of telling me like that's not my path. But I had it all planned out, you know, I had this amazing job, I wanted to like climb up the career there, I wanted to stay here, get married, like, you know, the classical uh, cliche picture, I had that planned for me too. And yet I was so, so miserable. And I think all of this was kind of like the journey back to myself, because um, that's when also yoga started to play a very, very big role in my part in my life. And through yoga, through personal development, through coaching, and I now even remember that my coach said to me once, like, he always saw me as an entrepreneur. And I guess just that, like, lit this flame inside of myself that within two weeks, I was like, yeah, actually, I want to be self-employed. Actually, I don't, like... I always wanted to work for all these big brands and the marketing department, but then I started to work with them and I saw like every that every employee there was miserable. It was not as it's portrayed. So I 
figured out that the job that I had was actually the most amazing one I could imagine. And yet I was at that position miserable. So I thought, okay, well, then the only other way is that I found my own company. And I had no clue what I wanted to do. And yet I knew it was time to take a leap of faith. So I just jumped, I talked to my bosses, I finished all my projects exactly how I promised them to finish it. And then I was in a big unknown phase, which I always call it my spiritual awakening because that's when I dove deep into the topics of personal development, yoga, spirituality, when I started my life coaching teachings. And as I said, I, said, um, I was sitting in this personal development seminar that I just found randomly and it was about creating a vision. And I still didn't know what to do. Oh yeah, right before that, I already went to India. Ah yeah, I already woke up at some point at three in the morning, had this like intuitive knowing I need to go to India. So I got up, Google, found the first thing and yeah, booked a yoga teacher training in India. And that's actually when the first time like the vision of yoga junkies came to me. And since Tyler, my husband, always wanted to create a subscription box. Originally, we started as a subscription box. Our brand um, kind of had some phases and grew into what it is today. But we started out as a subscription box and that came in India to me. So we were already working on the basic, you know, the online shop, all these kind of things to create the first subscription boxes to make everything in the back end. And then I was sitting in this personal development seminar. And all of a sudden, when we're talked about vision and um, yeah, our goals, I remember there was a med meditation and a vision came to me of a yoga festival. And I saw it so, so concretely. I saw the stages. I saw the people. And especially I felt the love. I felt everybody being united, like-minded people, like all really, really heart-centered, good-hearted people. And yeah, I saw a weekend full of love and gratitude and connection. And back then it felt like an absolute impossible like phenomenon it felt like I could never make this possible I didn't even found my company yet I had no clue about entrepreneurship and yet I knew in my heart that this is something that I want to manifest and maybe you're not so familiar yet with the topic of manifestation. So I would like to explain you a little bit about what manifestation is and especially what it means to me so manifestation is basically your ability to create your life. You are creating your life with your thoughts, your feelings, your everyday action. All of this, always in co-creation with the universe, creates your life. So whatever you see in front of your inner eye, whatever is at that point just part of the subtle energetic realm, you can manifest with your thoughts, feelings, and action into our 3D world. And there are many films like, for example, The Secret, where it's almost like uh, they almost portray as if you just got to think strong enough and intensely enough um, about something, and then you're manifesting that. I don't believe that. Um, I know our brain cannot um, differentiate between whatever we're just imagining and what is reality. But yet, in my view, it takes a little bit more to really create what you want to manifest. And no matter if it's uh, a dream house, a dream job, a dream partner, manifestation is never about having something. It's always about being. So when you manifest, it's always about the question, who are you when you are already living this reality? And you always manifest everything that you are. You manifest your beliefs, your values, your daily actions, and your outer reality is always a mirror of your inner reality. So always remember it's be, do, have. And that's, in my opinion, where this manifestation process is really starting. Because we all have, um, you know, if you think, let's say your dream house, um, in whatever location, maybe it's even like in a foreign country. If you are living in that dream house, 
Like, or if you are living in your dream relationship or if you're having your dream job, like, do you deeply feel that you deserve this? Do you deeply feel that you are good enough to receive all the love, that money, that health, the success, whatever you are creating? And very often we are having limiting beliefs and we're having kind of these like little layers over that just created in our childhood that kind of tell us, nah, actually, I don't feel worthy of my manifestation. And this is where the manifestation process really starts. Because in my opinion, the manifestation process and the journey to manifest your deepest desires is a deep healing process. It goes... It is about that you are looking at this limiting beliefs that hold you back from creating what you want to create and to let them go, to see where are all these fears coming from, where are the self-doubt coming from, where are these shadows, all of them, they're like kind of like a veil over your manifestation power. And piece by piece, it's kind of like an onion. You start to heal each of those beliefs, each of those old wounds, and you step into your full power and in your full power, being the person that already lives the reality that you want to create, you automatically attract whatever you want. And sometimes this this healing journey takes time and that is okay because it's never about the outcome. It's always about the journey and who you are becoming on this journey. So while wrapping up this podcast episode, I would like you to take out your journal and for the next kind of like five minutes after this episode... Think of one thing that you deeply want to manifest, something that your heart really desires. And then start to write down the question, who am I if I am already living this this reality? And then just let your heart speak. Journal out, like, who is this person? What is she or he believing about herself? What are the thoughts that she's primarily thinking? What daily habits does she have? Who is she surrounding herself by? What are her hobbies? Like just let the pen flow and create the future self of yourself that lives that reality. And then step by step, start to live into that identity. Let yourself be guided by that identity. And at one point, you will look back and all of a sudden you are that person. And then you will automatically attract whatever your heart desires. And to me, that's the magic about manifesting. That you are becoming this wonderful version, this full potential. You're really unfolding your potential. And I think, yeah, that's kind of like the magic about life. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this new format. I definitely love to sit down and talk with you about one of my favorite topics, manifestation. If you like this episode, I would be so happy if you give me a review, if you take a screenshot and share it in your stories, if you send it to a friend that wants to maybe manifest something beautiful in his or her life too. Um, either way, I'm sending you so much love, a big, big hug, and I am so proud of you that you're going this journey of becoming your best self. And yeah, big kiss to you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I would love to connect with you on a more personal level on Instagram at Empowering Vibes, where you will receive daily inspiration and more insights on how you can turn your dreams into reality. If you want to dive even deeper into becoming your best self and you would like my support, check out my website, empoweringvibes.com. Be sure to subscribe to Empowering Vibes so you don't miss a single episode. And if you like the show, share it with someone who's looking to live an extraordinary life. Thank you so much for being part of this beautiful community. I'm sending you so much love and a big, big hug. And never forget to shine your light.